In the late 18th century, the Ottoman Sultan Selim III tried to modernise the empire after a series of defeats to their European neighbours. This was Tajid or renewal, and he tried to completely restructure the finances of the empire with the new treasury, and invited foreign advisors to help train the new army. This he hoped would not only defend the empire but also centralise it, ending the autonomy that many had. For instance, in the late 18th century, renegade Janissaries had assassinated the governor of Belgrade and ruled it virtually independently. This started the first Serbian uprising where initially the Ottomans aided the Serbian rebels in trying to oust the Janissaries. But in 1806, Selim sent the new army out of Constantinople to aid in the war. But many conservatives who feared his reforms joined forces to stop them. So the new army did not make it far as Selim, fearing a civil war, ordered them to retreat. Meanwhile, across the empire, he faced opposition due to the new taxes, loss of status for the Janissaries, and new foreign non-Muslim institutions gaining importance. But it was the Yamaks who launched the first coup. These were soldiers who were initially civilians mobilised during times of war, largely to support the Janissaries. But unlike the Janissaries, they were recruited from the Turkish Muslim population. Yet by this period, they became garrison troops, defending the Black Sea and Bosphorus. But they were ill-disciplined and too numerous, and many would steal from the surrounding areas. And in 1807, the minister of the Bosphorus tried to make them wear new uniforms, similar to that of the new army. Believing this would eventually lead to new training and further reforms, the Yamaks killed the minister and marched on Constantinople, under the leadership of Kabachi Mustafa. Although small in number, the interior minister, Kose Musa, refused to send out the new army to meet them, as he sympathised with their cause. Plus, as the Ottomans had been fighting the Russians, many other soldiers were at the front. So Janissaries and citizens joined the rebellion, Kabachi entered the capital, and with Kose Musa, essentially took control after executing many high-ranking reformists. They then forced Selim to hand over two princes as assurance, and the Sheikh al-Islam issued a fatwa against the reforms. So with this, Selim was forced to abdicate, and his cousin Mustafa IV was installed as the new Sultan. However, the rebels continued to riot in the capital and plunder for months, and they killed anyone tied to the reform movement. This, at the height of the Napoleonic Wars, worsened their relations with the French, and that winter the weather was so cold that crops failed, and many of Selim's allies refused to send supplies to the capital. And one of his allies was Alamdar Mustafa Pasha, who ruled in Rus, and he tried to get Selim back into power. So he sent a small squadron to the Bosphorus to kill Kabachi after his wedding, then a larger army made up of many soldiers returning from the Russian front marched on Constantinople in the summer of 1808. This well-disciplined force quickly subdued the rebels, but from within the palace, Mustafa ordered that Selim and his younger brother Mahmud be killed. Although Mahmud escaped capture in the palace, Selim was killed and his body was displayed. Alamdar nevertheless stormed the palace, discovered Mahmud, and installed him as the new sultan, while he took the position of Grand Vizier for himself. Alamdar then quickly tried to bring back the reforms of Selim, but just months later, hundreds of Janissaries stormed his house, and he blew up a gunpowder reserve to kill himself and many of the attackers. Then, after his death, Mahmud halted the reforms temporarily, but the empire would go on to suffer from rebellions in places like Greece, which would gain their independence. So he tried once again to reform the military in the 1820s, but the Janissaries mutinied once again. Yet that time, during the auspicious incident of 1826, he successfully crushed them and the Janissaries ceased to exist. Yet the delays and reforms left the Ottoman Empire lagging far behind the Europeans, and they would continue to lose land through rebellions and wars. 